All right, so higher time frame, your market outlook for the 8th of October. Sold off yesterday afternoon, and uh, we're doing a little bit more of the same. We tried to recover this morning a bit. So here's previous uh, daily bar analysis that we did, S&P 500 index. Average true range, volatility is increasing, you see from the bottom of the chart there. So again, we want to take a look at ATR. We had the swing high right here. Remember, we projected that 2011. We had a 127, 16185 extension here. We stopped on a dime, rolled over. We then saw this decline. We thought, boom, here it is, down 4.3 or 4.6%. This is the low. Buy them up. Boom, beautiful candle. We gap higher and go. We don't fill that gap. We gap higher, pull back, fill the gap. Maybe we're going to fill the gap and then continue. Not so fast. So we roll back over. We gap lower. Do not fill the gap yesterday. Roll lower. Close near the lows of the day. And right there is an attempt uh, to get a little bit back. So where are we? From October 2nd. Our lows were right at that 786 Fibonacci retracement, basically 1918. As we trade right now, the lows right here around 26. So we're eight points away from those previous lows. If these highs are the highs of the day that we've seen in the Globex, 1934, we take our 22-point ATR as of the close of yesterday, or 23, multiply it times 20%, 4.5, that puts us at 27.5 points off of the high. 1934 minus 27 is 1907. Okay, so 1907 is right around here, which would produce a lower low than our previous swing low and potentially a lower close. Rule of projection. Now, you can see here, if we do get that continuation move, then our 200 period right here, that's the big most at the 200 period, is rallying. We're at 18, basically 90. Look left. Our swing lows right here, mid-August, 1892. So we do have a point of confluence where the August lows will potentially meet this 200 period moving average here. So one, two, maybe a third day of 100 to 140% ATRs can easily get us down into this level. This would be massive. My expectation would be another view like this. So we'll see. If we roll lower today, gang, 1918 S&P will be a key level. Now, on an hourly time frame, what do we have down there, if anything? So we've got our DSR levels right here that are being retested. So from that turning point cell right there, we didn't get the black tip. We just rolled over. Okay, right down here now we've got a dynamic support zone. The lowest low is that spike low at 18s. We retested last night. We bought them right here. We'll see if we can hold this 1920 level. All right, so there's the S&P 500. Now let's take a look. We have two static legs right here. Look left. This swing high to here is a static leg. From this swing high, we're still building this leg on the right side. So I'm going to do an inverted Fibonacci extension. Left click at the swing high, left click at the low, pull it back up. If we break below then, where are we headed? Previously, we did that. Our 1618 extension held here. We got two bars that closed below it. Then we pulled back up, and you see it showed relevance right over here at the 1932 handle. So a break below, close below, boom, 1904, boom, 1886, 1618 extension. Now let's take the value of this leg here to here. If this swing high holds, then where would an ABCD terminate? I drop the value of the swing high. I retake that, project. There's AB equals CD or one-to-one -one symmetrical move. S&P 500, 1887. Now remember, traders, at this point, it's a conditional statement. If this, then that. If this, then that. So if we break below, close below, then 
I suspect we'll see a quick move. Remember, this is a massive daily swing low for the last two months. We'll probably see a quick move, maybe an afternoon sell-off in the 1904s, and then an extended target again, 1886. So S&P 500, let's go take a look. NASDAQ, 1214. NASI rolled over, not nearly as close. Average true range is in the NASDAQ around 52. 52, 20%, add 10, so 62 points, 120% ATR. If the highs of the day are in at 3966, then 3900, 3904 would be a good projected low. You see I've got a 786 Fibonacci retracement, about 7 points below that. So today, 130% ATR puts us down into that 786 Fibonacci retracement. Swing lows down here, 38.33, kind of the ledge, if you will. Support here, July 10th. Retested here for the entire week of uh, first week of August. Then we finally got that pop. Okay, NASDAQ again, same visual pattern that we're looking at here on the DSR levels. Dynamic support level being tested. Swing lows, you see that we're going to probably put in a symmetrical double bottom at least. We're bidding them up down here at 39.32, buying any retest of these lows. Again, looking for a potential rally off of those lows. High to high trend line extension here continues to hold. Bear market, big mo, primarily black on the way down. Bear continuation. Dow Jones, daily. <laughs> Okay, Dow rolling over again, closer to our weekly lows there. 586s, and again, you can see right here, 16.4, our swing lows from August, 16.2. So we can break our 200-period uh, trade down to these absolute lows. So if we do get down into this region, you see that I ran an ABCD projection. Look left. Here's my swing high to this new structure low. From this low, outside return to that lower high, drop this in right there, and there's my one-to-one -one measured move, projecting 16.3 versus this stuff, 16.220. About 100 points separates that projection. Now, let's go ahead and run a FIB extension. Static swing high, look left, static swing low. Note the 1618 Fibonacci extension. So a lot of stuff there, 16,220s to 16,320, about a 100-point uh, range in a market that right now we've seen, this is the highest of all that we've seen, I think, all year. Uh, back to March, April. Right here in February, we popped to 193, average true range daily, again, in the same type of sell-off, increase in volatility. And then as the market got back underway heading north, you see volatility declined all the way down to 84. So literally, it was cut in half. Then we fall back. Volatility increases again here as we pull back. So close to the highest average true range that we've seen for 2014. Okay, let's move this guy out of the way. Dow Jones, again, double bottoming. DSR levels. Bottom here yesterday, got a little pop. Double bottoms here, and again, spike lows right there. Now, if we trade below, close below, note right here, I ran some FIB Connection extensions lost. yesterday. We've got the 1618 Fibonacci extension, 16460s. I've got a 127 extension of another level, 16470s. So basically a 10-point range right there. Let's get back to rolling. So I ran these uh, projections. I've got three different uh, projections running here. I've got a classic, an inverted, and then a prior. So the 127 extension that I ran right here held this decline, the 16.588s from the other day. You can see here again the 1618 extension of that same level showing confluence at the 127 of this most recent leg down. I inverted this guy right here. So if we break below, close below then, 16.460s to 470s, a nice big area of Fibonacci confluence right there. Dow Jones. Finally, let's look at, uh, take a look at the Russell. 
Russell's the weaker of the four. We've already broken below, closed below our dynamic support level. We made new structure lows after the close yesterday, popped back up, we've retested, and we actually have a lower low, lower close on an hourly bar over here on the right side. Okay, so this DSR level now has gone from bullish support, green interior, to red. We don't have a real significant break of it, but again, all this uh, dynamic support zone looks for is I require a break below, close below on the time frame that we're pulling our support levels from. In this case, it's a four hour. So this is telling me I've had a four hour bar close below that uh, significant level. We're still showing a nice symmetrical double bottom. So right here, close below the 1075s, we should see a pop here for another 10 points. And obviously, if we continue the sell off, we'll roll over. Now, this is a static leg as we look left. So this is a good example. This right here is still in the bear mode. I'm going to grab the swing high here, look left. There's the swing low, static, and then let's pull it back up. So 127 at 62, the 1618 at 50 half. And again, I really don't have a pop. I like to see this from the swing highs to the new structure low. I'd like to see at least a 23% retracement. Right here, it's just basically pressed against these lows. It could just continue the sell off. All right, CL. Crude oil's taking out the DSR level as well. Let's look left right here. And we have some pretty significant levels down here, gang, uh, for, you know, annual lows. We ran some analysis last night on the continuous contract. But our 1618 extension there held the 8830s. We got a beautiful pop back here, $3.20. Rolled back over, and again, you see our new structure lows, lower closes are intact. So 87 and then 8520s right here on crude oil. All right, perfect. Now we'll see if we get gap uh, fills across the board. Got some things popping in there on the uh, equity side. Stocks to watch. So let's go take a look at some of the equity stuff. All right, let's see here. Daily on Apple. Can you give me the diamond chart, please? Yeah, it looks like that. Um, it looks like that drop on my uh, connection affected this as well. All right. Fantastic. All right, gang, hang on one second. All right, big bad Rod, fire that options desk up. We got anything going on? Yeah, just dropped in the chat. Good morning, everybody. What's going on here? So on the stock side, we're long UGAS, Nugget, Mankind, Mobileye, and Cyber. So Nugget and UGAS we've been talking about forever. So natural gas is actually down today. So if we want to start with UGAS, I'll be picking up a little bit more of that probably on the open. I have an order at 1349 to buy some more of that. And, uh, we've probably talked about this enough, right? This channel 1350 to 16, and we've been playing it <clears throat> like a fiddle. There we go, gang. There's the UGAS. So again, slightly below, but you see these swing lows down here, 1325. So it's trading 1370 pre-market. We're going to buy more at 1340. Okay, and then again, look yeah. for this pop right up here. Those of you we talked about taking the sell signal over here, obviously everything would come off right now, trading back to the uh, support zone in this channel. Okay. Yeah, on you guys, if you sold it, you would have had to go short the stock because there's no options on that. We could have bought puts on UNG. Uh, Nugget, finally getting a little pop today. Acted pretty poorly yesterday, considering that the gold market was was flat. So we're getting a little bit of a reprieve, up three uh, percent. And I bought more of that uh, yesterday, right into the close. So still long, still long. Uh, nugget uh, targets are um, above twenty eight. I'm I'm trading this on a swing trade. Okay, gang. So there's the uh, again. That's that gold miners. It's the bull three X. 
Yep. And then if you want to look at Apple, sharply unchanged. We are on the 100 calls for this week, so we're going to need a little bit of help. Uh, the target we were targeting yesterday on the entry at 51 was 79. We didn't quite get there. I tweeted out that I did flatten that position for a small loss and then got back in at 44 